everybody this is Sherry and this is a card that I made for my mother-in-law and um, she and I started off on a very rocky path as you know some of us can attest to with mother-in-laws but we are getting closer and I'm very thankful for that and so I also wanted to make her a card I'm not going to send a gift or anything I just wanted her to have a card to know that I was thinking about her and I used a gold gel pen down here on the frame of the chalkboard to make it look you know a little to give accent to it and make it look a little fancier and this um, image is called write a message Tilda and I'll zoom in because I wanted you to see what I did was I colored the image once and then I colored this part again and I popped it up just to give it a little bit more dimension and to make it look like it's got a good grip on the frame of the chalkboard and um, she was fun to color she was a lot of fun and I saw, you know, I went because I wasn't really sure how to color her. And I may not do the frame in gold next time, but I saw some really cute um, cards and how they did theirs. So I was real tickled, and I'm definitely going to be using this image a lot. I used some a white gel pen for the, glean, uh, the glint in her eye. I used the Paper Tray Ink Scarlet Jewel, which is this paper right here. And I used my Sizzix uh, Doily Lace Medallion die for this die right here. Again, this is some seam binding from Karen Brake. And that's Lady Die Creations here on D Zibit. And I'll put the link below. Just um, a bling out of my stash for the center. And um, it went really flat this one did but I just wet it wet it and lifted it up with my fingers I know it's gonna scrunch down some in the envelope but it was like I don't know it looked like a poor little thing had you know croaked on me like a dead flower and I wanted it to have a little bounce to it and um, I think I just you know I think I might have put something heavy on top of it and just wasn't aware of it and then this paper back here which I absolutely love I have no idea where it came from. It was given in the kit that Karen gave me, and it is probably some of the prettiest paper I've ever seen. I just love it. And um, I ran the seam binding through the holes in the um, doily, and then just attached it right here with the seam binding that I ran across the card. Again, it's a five and a half by five and a half. 110 pound card base from Recollections and on one of Muriel's videos she showed another um, another it wasn't Recollections I don't know which store it was from but I want to find out because it said heavier weight 110 pound and it was in 12 by 12 because I love to make 6 by 6 cards that's my favorite size to make and um, so I hate cutting down an 8.5 by 11 sheet for this and then having a strip that I can't make another card out of so I'm really hoping I can find that cardstock that Muriel showed and if anybody has seen it it's 110 pound heavyweight cardstock it came in 12 by 12 and I it was not I don't believe it was recollections it was something else so if you all know what that is if you could leave it in the description box or in the comment box for me I would appreciate it and um, that's it I just wanted to show you this I'm gonna get this in the mail to my mother-in-law tomorrow and I didn't put anything on the inside I left room so that I could write her a note and then this I just wrote with a white gel pen and my own handwriting and she, her hair is so pretty to color it's just you just follow the the way they have her hair laying and it's just it's a blast to color her hair because it's the way they've got it drawn is just 
phenomenal. I love this this stamp. So we'll definitely, definitely be using it again. Um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. I'm trying to make my videos shorter, guys, because there's so many of us out there with so many people that we follow. And when, you know, it's a 15, 20 minute video, dang, you can't, you know, then it's just, it's impossible to get to all the people that you want to. So I hope you don't mind that I'm trying to make my videos shorter. I hope that encourages more of you to come and watch my videos because it only takes a minute or two of your time. I'll talk to you later. Have a great evening. Bye. Oh, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you like the shorter videos, give it two thumbs up. <laughs> Thanks for visiting me. Bye.